What's up guys, it's Justine here and um, today we've got some King's Hood video and this time um, it's about Miriam yeah. finding her I'll say optimal perk but perks that would benefit her S3 more because we all know that Miriam's main damaging skill is her skill number 3 which is Assassination. Most stun enemy with the lowest HP deals magic damage during the turn center for this ally. The enemy is not a hero, deals additional magic damage that ignores defense. Defeating a target with this skill instantly triggers S2 to protect. So it triggers S2. Right now, these are the perks that I'm using. However, is this the optimal? Is this the optimal? Now, one thing that I will tell you <coughs> is because um, T5 Dark is something necessary. Because, yeah, look at this. Upon killing an enemy, all skill cooldown is reduced by 50% and recovers one orb of mana. This is very good on um, adventures, raids, when there's baby dragons and such. They're basically there. However, for solo fights, of course, you're gonna remove this and change to a perk that would uh, basically have the highest attack uh, that you can dish out so first of all we're gonna test um, what kind of Marian would be the best for your normal adventures first our skill testing damage damage will be um, skill 3 because that's her main damaging skill and the ignore defense is there and we're gonna try it on the trading dummy yes I know that um, the dummy is um I don't know if the ignore defense would go in it but um yeah let's just try it nevertheless in here we're gonna dish out S1 and S3 same pattern same pattern okay remember mind the DPS is just the raw damage now with that said, <clears throat> let's begin our first trial. Skill 1, the skill 3. Look at that, 18.2 million per hit of S3. Her S3 hits two times, okay. So 18.2 million each, so it's around uh, 16 uh, 36.4. Okay. Now what if we go we're going to change the perk? As you can see the artifact didn't take effect also. So never mind that. Change the perks. Um take out the 5 light. Put this this and this. Now, take this into a fact. It's only 15% attack, HP, and death, and we'll have a good chance. But this is 20% attack, but it has death pen. However, her S3 doesn't have um, ignore, uh, already has ignore defense, so the death pen is unnecessary. But let us see what would happen. Is the attack gonna be higher, or is the attack damage gonna be lower? Same pattern, skill 1, then skill 3, 17.8, now as you, as you all can see, as you all saw, using the T5 perk light, 15% all stats, is a lot better than the um, 20% attack with two, with 200 death pen. Why? I don't know. Maybe because the S3 is already ignore defense. But nevertheless, first look at the my Mirian stat. The reason why I'm wearing this is because I'm, this is the, uh, the perfect case that I have. 
I chose for the um, T6 legendary ticket from the raid package. Uh, yeah. So we've seen this generation around um, 17.8. Our other one is 18.2. In other words, this is still high. The previous the first one is still higher. However, let's try it this one. Chance attack T5 light and T5 dark. No perks on the middle. Let's see her damage now. Okay. Skill one card. Then skill three. Fifteen. Okay, so that um, answers the question. Um, should you neglect any of her, uh, um, her T3 40% damage increase? No, she lost around uh, 2 to 3. Okay, 2 to 3, 2 until 3 million damage per hit. In other words, it's around 4 to 6 million. That's huge. So, so this goes without saying that for PVE purposes, taking into account only her main damaging skill, which is S3, these are her best perks. I know it's a training dummy, but hey, basically ignore defense, ignore defense. So, there's your true damage in there. And basically, the training dam is not a hero, so yeah. Now, what's the second page? This is the one that I'm using for the world boss. Okay, for the world boss. So, is this per combination of perks good for the world boss? Because in here, you can see that I didn't use, okay, I didn't use S3 because. S3 has a very long cooldown. Oh, wait. Is this my PvP perk? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's set that. I use Marion also in my PvP because wall deck is kind of getting boring for me. I know I use wall deck for about a month and a half, but. Uh, well, let's get on with this. Of course, attack and attack. T5 Light is necessary. Now, this is a one-on-one -on -one fight that you don't expect that you have any other mobs to kill for your S3 or any other skill to reset so you're not taking T5 dark. So, quick chance of course. Now, since if there's a single enemy, it's target lock on light. Then, the last one is debatable if it's either target witness or assassination dark. Now, why did I choose target lock on light? Well, the very reason was because her skill number one has six second cooldown, okay? And um, this raw damage, around, if you take it all of this into account, around uh, 1.2 or above, higher, depending on the in it crits, so around 2 million, and then, yeah, but. Let's not also forget that um, her S1 activates with her unique weapon. Okay, while auto attacking, well, it's a 4 star, there's a 21% chance to increase attack speed for 420 for 5 seconds. Will attack the enemy with the lowest magic defense, deal 210% of attack as extra damage, and inflict the target number for 5 seconds. Okay, so here. Yeah. Wait, first of all, we're going to look at this, this, this set of perk combination. We're going to use three of her skills, and then we will see what will be her total damage. Okay.
Let's do that again. I forgot we shouldn't um, bother with uh, we shouldn't bother with the auto attacks. Straight up use skill number one. Fifty-five million damage. I said, never mind the DPS. So, Fifty-five million damage, all skills. Okay. Or wait, was that the right thing to do? Oh, I forgot. We're going to kill the dummy. How fast will it be? And what's the perk DPS? What's the peak, I mean? Okay, 6.5 It means that in that short amount of time she dealt that much damage But now that I think about it It seems taking out uh, Yeah, I think taking out that the T2 perk target big doesn't change it to S3 dark would generate uh, faster runs. Oh come on, oh come on. Don't don't tell me lagged out. Don't tell me don't tell me lagged out. Oh. Okay. Now let's set this. Okay, there there uh, use this and then use this. Now, we saw her DPS peak around 7 something million and ended with 6.9. Well, correct me, <laughs> I have a short term memory this, damn it. Uh, Eight point four, nine point one, three, okay. Listen there, um, you decide what do you want. Because um, the forty percent damage um, from S one won't benefit the uh, won't let you benefit from it because the cooldown is fourteen seconds. I mean, it's not long, but it's also not short compared to her skills. And um, you want to amplify S one much more as. It coincides with their unique weapon effect. And, um, yeah. So, for World Boss, or if you want to plan on single target, single opponent only battles, um, the perks are very subjective. Um, you can either take out S3 and put it on S. 
S1 okay well you can also rewind the video for the differences of um, um, the, the damage dealt well you, you already saw that um, the damage of S3 with, um, without the spark is very low it was 40% then add the ignore defense that's very high so yeah that's why I said it's very subjective and also your chances of quit that's why Maria needs very high amount of crit but she doesn't need penetration doesn't need penetration okay um, so yeah I think that's about it for her and let's just do one one or two rounds oh server reset for the sake of experimenting we're gonna use this as a guinea pig where's Jane? is Jane equipped? oh yes she's equipped Sonia she's also equipped okay um let's begin in here I'm gonna exit the battle once um once it's the boss about to die hopefully she, he doesn't die and what's this See, 3.5 And then So it's walking again um, Now let's change her work To the other one um, should I use this one? No, let's just hit this one. There. Very good S3. Now I know this would be um, very harmful for her. Three point six. This is almost no difference, right? So yeah, even short battles like this, the conquest, um, you might actually not see the difference between S one and um, S three. But I already tried it on the world boss in the um, the DPS and the world boss video with Miriam, the top DPS. Whenever she was the top DPS, did I upload it on the mountain fortress? Well, basically, the perk we were using. Was this was this exact set of perks? Okay, I don't know if I showed it in the video, but these are her perks. These are my perks for the war boss. And, um, these are my PVE perks for dragon raids. Uh, for PVP, never mind. But um, PVP, <clears throat> basically. I take this perk instead of this. That's the only change. Yep, that's it for now. That's my very end. And um, thank you for watching. Ta da!